Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video on some of the latest technology that I've got in here to have a look at. Now this is from two of my favourite vendors, Radio Master and Speedy Bee. And it's fun to see manufacturers like this, even though the hobby is well past the kind of multi-rotor racing boom, still continuing to bring out innovative products. Now unfortunately, prices of things like flight controllers have gone up, but two out of these three things are cheaper than I was expecting. So let me jump on the bench and let me show you some of this latest stuff. First thing to have a look at is this SpeedyB F7 V3 BL32 50 amp 30 by 30 stack. Now I'm a fan of SpeedyB flight controllers. I have used them in the past and they are well put together. They always seem to work well in the builds that I've done here. And this just happens to be the latest F7 based flight controller that can be paired with a 4 in 150 amp ESC unit. Now Speedy B do an awful lot of cool things and I like their wireless technology for configuration and also flashing firmware as well. And they continue to improve that all the time and surprise prize this latest flight controller stack has all that goodness inside. Couple of interesting things here. The gyro is a BMI 270 USB Type C port. The barometer is on board a BMP 280, and there's the standard OSD stuff as well. BLE Bluetooth is supported, so is the ability to flash the firmware wirelessly and also to download and analyze the black box wirelessly as well. There is a 500 megabyte black box flash on here. Yep. You heard that right, 500 megabyte. And there's also support for 3 to 6S LiPo. Now there's loads of cool things on here. It has five UARTs. It has a nice squared C port, so you can have an external compass. There are LED pads. But one of the things that I noticed when I looked at this is what they've started to do is not only provide all the pads for those of us that like to solder in our flight controllers, but underneath are all the connectors if you want to actually plug it together. And in fact, one of the things we're going to look at next is one of the things they've designed to just be plug and play. Now, in the package underneath, you get all of the cables to connect all this stuff together, as well as some really long mounting screws, which I'm incredibly pleased to see, because these are things that I end up having to buy all the time, and these are a good length, as well as the power connector with a high-quality XT60 connector on the end as well. So this comes with everything that you're going to need. ESCs are 55 amp burst 50 amp in regular operation it does come with the external capacitor which is 1500 microfarad i recommend that you install that the sc protocol is dshot 300 600 again it supports 3 to 6s lipo mounting of this is pretty standard stuff it's 30.5 by 30.5 millimeters 4 millimeter hole diameter and it comes with all the vibration isolating mounts on top I do really like the fact that they've started shipping these things. They both have the pads for soldering and also the connectors as well if you want to have a more plug and play installation. Next thing to talk about is an awful lot cheaper than that. This is a little cheap and cheerful way to get four LED strips that also come in the package with the cables to wire them up and four bits of clear heat shrink as well. Now the first thing that people tend to see when they think of this is okay it's a quad thing. You know what? It's not just a quad thing. If you want lights along the back edge of your wing or on a plane or those kind of stuff, these are incredibly handy as well. Again, just like the flight controller, they've provided the pads and they've also provided the connectors as well, which is what those provided cables plug into. So just a quick and easy way to add LEDs to your model for relatively low cost from a manufacturer who's probably taken a bit of effort with it. So the last thing to talk about then are two new receivers from Radio Master, the ER5A and the ER5C. These are both five channel PWM Express LRS receivers. The only difference between them really is that one is vertical pins and one is horizontal pins, depending on which one you want to use. Now these will run on 4.5 to 8.4 volts, so the fact that they can go up to 8.4 volts does mean that they can support HV servos and accessories. They're both in a nice injection molded case that actually feels pretty decent quality, and the 5 PWM outputs will give you four 
proportional outputs on one switch if you're running Express LRS version 2.0 and five proportional channels if you're on Express LRS version 3.0. And if you're watching this and you're running Express LRS and you haven't updated to 3.x yet, um, I would definitely do that. See my videos about why. The weight of these things is only 6.6 .6 grams. The size is 37 by 19 by 30 millimeters, and they do come with an additional antenna that you can install if you want to put the antenna outside the model or in a different place, which is a really cute addition. Now, don't forget with ELRS right now, channel five is still being used as kind of an on-off switch for lots of the features. So check the version that you're using to make sure that that isn't the case uh, otherwise if it is this is really only a four channel receiver however four channels is really handy because you can use it for wings cars boats all kind of stuff now I'm looking forward to more options from Radio Master with more PWM outputs as the recent changes to Express LRS where you can have all of the channels in full resolution, again see my video on that, mean that Express LRS is no longer just for quads, it's also a great option for planes, boats, cars and trucks. So hopefully that was useful, that is a quick overview of some of the latest stuff in here, links all down below and thanks for watching. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.